Hey everyone, Percy here. So this week I came across a very interesting new plugin. So this plugin is called Noctonal. It was released by DJ Swivel. So what is Noctonal? How does it work? What can we do with it? Well, today we're gonna to talk about all of that. Now, by the way, at the moment, Noctonal is on sale. You can get it for 50% off. I will leave an affiliate link in the description, which will take you to Plugin Boutique. So should you be interested, you can use that link so you can get the plugin for no extra cost, but I would get a little commission, which of course would help support this channel. Now, once you've downloaded and installed everything, again, this is what it looks like. But now, what is it? So what is Noctonal? Well, the official description says Noctonal is a node-based resonant enhancer allowing users to boost or cut resonances as well as their corresponding harmonic overtones. Simply put, Noctonal allows you to tune your drums without the need for destructive repitching of samples. Now, that is the official description. You know, it may still be a little bit unclear, so I think it's best that I show you uh, a few examples. But first, let's take a look at the interface. Now, let's start up here on the top right. This is a subtractive EQ, or at least these are the controls for a subtractive EQ. So first of all, here we have the frequency, which is pretty self-explanatory, I think. Then we have the cut, which is, of course, for specifying how much reduction we want in dBs. Then we have the Q, and that is to determine the band width. And finally, the overtones. This, you know, is to specify how much of the overtone signal we want uh, present. And using this subtractive EQ, we can remove some unwanted resonance from our sound. Now, once we've used the subtractive EQ to maybe make the sound a bit more neutral, so to speak, we can then use the resonant enhancer, the controls of which you can find down here on the bottom left, to add some resonance to our liking. Now, first of all, to select the frequency we want to affect, we can use this keyboard down here. So whenever I click any of the keys, you can see that the bubble will follow whatever key I click. But of course, we can also use the bubble itself to select a frequency. Um, and then we can also use that to, uh, to actually uh, boost that specific frequency. Now, as you can see, G is now the, the primary note. Um, the primary note will always be on, in focus as long as this link button is selected. If I deselect it, now I can use this knob to shift the focus to, a, um, to one of the overtone frequencies. Okay, now then here we have the range. The range determines the amount of overtones. Um, and then here we have the Q. Here we have the bands. By default, we have 10 uh, overtone uh, bands, so to speak, but we, we can have up to 30, okay? And then here is blend. The blend is a mix between the odd and the even uh, overtones. So if I turn this knob, let's say if I turn it to the left, only the odd, um, overtones will be in focus if I turn it all the way to the right. The odd, you know, overtones will disappear and only the even overtones will appear. And I can mix anywhere in between. And then finally with this knob we can switch between overtone mode and octave mode. So all in all there is quite a bit there to determine how we want to enhance the resonance of our sound. Okay, now let's see this thing in action. So hopefully then it'll become a little bit clearer as to what this thing is actually capable of. Now I've created a little simple loop here. So let's quickly listen to that loop and then I'm gonna to explain to you how I use Noctonal to actually create this loop. Okay, let's go. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, now let's start with the kick. So I've soloed the kick and let's listen to what the kick sounds like without it being affected by nocturnal. Let's go. Okay, sounds like a pretty regular kick, right? So I already thought it sounded 
pretty uh, neutral, so I didn't really feel the need to use the subtractive EQ for this. But now let's play around a little with the resonant enhancer. So uh, I'm gonna play it again, and then I'm gonna uh, make some changes. So let's go. Okay, you can definitely hear some melodic parts being enhanced here. Now, one of the great things they did with Nocturnal is that the narrower the bandwidth gets, so the, the higher the Q value gets, the longer uh, the resonance tail will be. And that allows you to transform a simple kick drum like this to an actual 808. So let's try that, let's go. Okay, let's bring up the Q. Okay, and now let's let's keep playing with that keyboard down here. Isn't that crazy? Now here I'm playing those notes manually, but of course we can also automate that by using automation, but also by using MIDI. So as you can see over here, let me move this out of the way first. I've created a MIDI track, which is sending MIDI information to this instance of Noctono. And in the end, this is what I came up with. Okay, one more example. I found this little sound, so let's listen. Now, just by looking at the spectrum analyzer alone, you can tell that there's a huge spike somewhere around 400 hertz, a little bit above 400 hertz. So watch this again. So that is a huge indication that there's a lot of resonance there. And it also doesn't really sound very pleasant. Now, this is exactly what we have the subtractive EQ for. So let's engage that and let's try to remove that uh, resonance. Well, that is night and day. So this is, let, let me show you the before and after. So this is without. And this is with. Night and day. And just by making two simple moves. I mean, I could still go in and make some more detailed changes, but that's how simple it is. Now, anyway, I also added some, some resonance to this uh, sound. I also added a MIDI channel. And in the end, this is what it became. Okay, so in conclusion, so what do I think of Noctonal? Now, Noctonal is one of those plugins that don't actually really solve problems. It doesn't really solve a problem, but it is another tool in your toolbox for your creativity. Now, I also think that the developers were pretty creative by creating the interface like this with basically two EQs, so one to remove unwanted uh, resonance and one to add wanted resonance. So that's pretty clever. It's a pretty clever trick. Um, and that makes it perfect for tuning your drums with. Now, tuning your drums is essential for certain musical genres especially, so especially for electronic music, EDM music, certainly essential for that, uh, but also hip hop music and some other genres as well. Um, so perfect for tuning your drums but it's also capable of doing some more things than that. Um, you can basically take any percussive sound and manipulate it very musically and even melodically. So yeah, all in all, 
it's it's just a very clever plugin. I'm really very pleasantly surprised by it. So, yeah, thumbs up to uh, DJ Swivel. It's an amazing plugin. There's nothing else I can say about it. So yeah, that's about it for now about Nocturnal. Go check it out for yourself if you like, and let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment below. For now, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.